Next tonight, it's taken many months and it's cost millions, but the iconic roof of an historic building in Leicester has finally been restored. Thousands of glass panels above the University of Leicester's engineering building have been replaced, which, as you can imagine, was a pretty complex job. Well, they're celebrating its completion tonight and Amy Harris is there for us and it looks as good as new, Amy. It certainly does, Anne, and tonight they will quite literally be raising the roof here to celebrate the end of what has been an incredibly difficult task. Now, the pressure really was on because this isn't just any building. Uh, it's considered an architectural icon. Now, it was designed by architects James Sterling and James Gowan in the 1960s, and it's known around the world. I mean, among its many plaudits, it's been included in a national list of the 50 most famous structures in the UK, including Hadrian's Wall so not bad uh, but its age was starting to show so 19 and a half million pounds has been spent replacing the roof let's bring in Britta from the University of Leicester Britta why replace it well the building itself was starting to deteriorate the roof was leaking we had complex session of buckets and pipes to collect the water we were energy costs were spiraling out of control and it was really important for us to give the right environment for both our academics and our students so that time came to replace the roof and are you pleased with the result absolutely over the moon it's amazing fantastic well tasked with replacing every one of these two and a half thousand panels was thomas and his team from arab so how challenging thomas was this well, look, this is an absolute masterpiece, but you're right, the pressure is on for us to recreate. It's very beautiful, very fine details, whilst also improving its performance. And how does this compare then to other projects you've worked on? It must be pretty up there. <laughs> well, I work on all kinds of lists of buildings, but this is definitely one of a kind. I'd say it's right up there. Both in terms of the geometry and materials, it's been very demanding. And come on, tell us, were any panels uh, broken along the way? Can you reveal? I can't tell you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Remaining tight-lipped, Thomas, thank you very much. Uh, well, I have to say, as you said, Anne, it certainly looks as good as new and the hope is that it will last for another 50 years. So watch this space. Let's hope so. It looks absolutely lovely. Thanks, Amy. Hmm.